mutes who turned up at the same time. He needed a break. Oh. He'd just spent a frustrating hour moving threads and writing messages to people he knew in his heart of hearts would take little notice. They'd carry on their own sweet way, ignoring the rules, under the impression they had some sort of God-given right to do and say exactly what they wanted. Besides, the room was getting pretty warm. His wife was firing up the kiln she used for making stained glass Christmas tree decorations. He looked down at the multi-gang lead he had coming out of the plug. Computer, phone, printer, iPod, iPad. He'd labelled the backs of the pugs so he wouldn't have to untangle the leads to find the right one every time. He added fan, guitar and wow-wow pedal to the row and leant back, guitar in lap, to have a little practice and a bit of a relax. He was never sure how it happened. All those wires with different voltages, different currents, all wound round and round each other. The wow wow paddle had something to do with it. It wasn't dramatic. A second desk and a second computer, looking almost exactly like the first, simply appeared next to the one he was sitting facing. No flashes, no loud noises, it just faded into view. He couldn't resist it. He fired it up, went to bookmarks and logged onto the forum. It was exactly like the ordinary computer, almost. When he thought about it afterwards, he couldn't think what the differences were, but he was sure there were some. It was when he saw that they both appeared to be registered on the same home network that he had the idea. He began transferring accounts from the normal home computer to the new apparition. He could go to the forum profile page and use the thread tool, move to, to shift it to a page he held open on the second computer. I'll have all these troublemakers in one place where I can keep an eye on them, he was thinking. And he moved the last one, and that was when the kiln thermostat clicked back in and blew the main fuse. The fuse was easily fixed, but the doppelganger computer vanished, along with all those profile pages and accounts. For a while he expected people to log back in, questioning what had happened. No one had no one ever did. He was never quite sure. Had he moved the people to a parallel existence? Thank you.